I'm Matt and welcome to Narrowboat Nog in the Nog. A couple of weeks ago we did a vlog where we talked about essentials for the boat and things that you could, you should go out and buy if you are going to cruise on a narrowboat. In today's culture and society we do tend to buy stuff sometimes we don't need. Hopefully with having such a small space to fill we're only going to buy things that we do need. In this vlog, we're going to show you some of the things we've been buying recently. Some of them are essential items for the boat and some of them are essential items for living on a boat. I'm going to start off with my best Christmas present this year, which was this hat. Not only is it stunning colour and suits me, I think, it also contains on the front a fabulous light. When I'm taking the dogs out at night time, it's ideal. Just press the button on the front and on comes the light. What's even better for a cheapskate like me is you don't need batteries. In the back, just unplug it there. It's got a USB, you can charge it from my computer. One of the problems that you do get on a boat is condensation. When we were first on, we were using kitchen roll, mopping it up, but it wasn't ideal, so we went out and bought one of these. This is a Karcher window washer, and you can just scrape it along the side. The water collects in the bottom here. You've probably seen them on other narrowboat vlogs. They are a pretty useful piece of kit. Charge it up on the wall, and to be honest, we've charged it up once, and it's still going now, two months later. A purchase we made quite soon when we're on the boat was this little boy here. It is a radio, solar powered, also a wind up torch. Get pretty good reception on this, so if you're cruising along in the morning, stick Radio 2 on, listen to a bit of Popmaster, it's a pretty good piece of kit. There's only a tenner. We do like to support the narrowboat community, so we'll often buy things from narrowboat channels and if we see anything useful we'll purchase them. Here's one that I bought Stella. It's a windlass holder, leather strap and that was from Cruising Crafts. I'll put a link to their website in the description underneath. It gets pretty warm next to this fire. You might be able to see the sweat on my forehead at the moment. If you are using a fire these have been really useful. Fireproof, fireproof gloves, great, quite sleek, put them on and you can do quite a lot with the fire, stoking it, putting it on coals and they just sit by the fire there. Another thing you have to do is equip a kitchen um, and you can't really bring anything from home or anywhere else so you, you've got to buy from scratch. So I just open up this drawer here that's got cutlery and tongs, tin openers, peelers, scissors, everything that you can normally have in your normal kitchen. And then this is the drawer that everybody has, the drawer with everything else in it. But one of my favourite purchases there is this thing, which is, I mean I do cook, so this sieve is a pop-out sieve and it, it just saves you a few centimetres of space and just pops back in when you've used it. Only a few quid from Amazon and a flat cheese grater rather than um, one that's in a dish or whatever like you buy from Ikea. Then the bottom drawer of course has got to have all your crockery, cutlery, all that kind of thing in it. And again, you need stuff that isn't at home. So this was fairly cheaply bought at Ikea, Ikea sorry, apart from these glasses, which I just loved, and the, the LSA ones, and they were a bit dearer. But they're nice for a, a rum or a gin. And the other feature I particularly wanted in this kitchen was an oven that had storage at the bottom. And actually, everything sort of 
cooking pot pans um what you call them trays that go in the oven they're all in there and although it doesn't seem a very big space it does fit everything in so if you're thinking of buying a new cooker i could i definitely recommend one with that storage underneath especially mm. if like us you haven't got wall storage this is a fairly recent acquisition we tried the silver pot things the coffee was horrid we we tried different permutations of it different measurements and we couldn't ever get it right it was always bitter and horrible so we've gone back to a cafetiere which is proving to be a really good buy it wasn't ever so expensive uh, but really useful another thing which was somewhat more expensive is the knife set um, I can't cope with bad knives and things that cut badly so this is a Sabatier set. It wasn't mega expensive, but it has every knife that you need and it, it includes a sharpener and it just fits nicely next to the gunnels over here. Um, so that's that's been a really good buy as well. The other thing, which is rather ugly, but rather useful, is this water storage container. It holds about six litres, I think, but the and it saves you keep constantly going refilling your water up um, and it, it was fairly cheap it was about 12 pounds something like that has a tap on it so you can use tap water but it concertinas down to nothing so that you can store it flat if you don't actually need it very much or if you're in a marina so I quite, I quite like that that's a good acquisition uh, the rather hideous little bin I've tried various reincarnations that I don't really like bins I'm not a fan I'd sooner just put it all in a paper bag and get rid of it but you can't really do that when you're traveling so you've got to find somewhere to store it and we've got such a, a narrow passageway through here yeah you can't put a bin in it so I've tried various that's more like a compost bin I think rather than a normal bin but the beauty of it is it does fit on the door like that and you can put little bags in it and you can put little bits of rubbish in it obviously it won't do if you're cooking a meal and you've got packaging and things to put in or recycling to do but it's enough for bits of tea bags and things like that there's not as many uh, purchases in the bathroom we have bought a few things we've bought a new set of towels uh, these were from John Lewis uh, for obviously shower and washing our face and hands uh, we also bought a laundry bin but our laundry bin. we've got great laundry facilities at the marina and so we can take that down and get those washed and dried it's pretty straightforward we've also bought for the boat and i think everybody should have one uh, first aid kit that's better we've not used it yet but this is one of the things where it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. To save us from moving toiletries back and forth between the house and the boat, we've put a whole new set of toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorants, smellies, shower gels, beard, shampoo, all those things have been bought for the boat as well. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with some scenes around the marina from our weekend that's just gone. It was pretty cold, so we spent most of the weekend either on the boat or out eating and drinking. This is uh, our new cafetiere and I was making some coffee for us in the morning to go with the bacon sandwiches that we're about to have. Filled up the cafetiere with the number of scoops recommended and I've got to say there's nothing quite so satisfying as plunging that plunger down.
slowly, slowly, and smelling that aroma of coffee. I can see your breath. <laughs> yeah, get that vape on. Boardwalk was really busy, wasn't it? A couple of pleasant pints in the Boardwalk. I have Moss's pedigree, Stella had pint of San Miguel. Both ordered a meal, I had steak and chips. You can. Stella had fish and chips. Both meals were really nice. It's a great place, but on top of everything there, I've just got to say that the service from the staff is incredible. They are so friendly and so helpful. You never have to want for anything. Sunday morning after settling the dogs down, we went out to the Canal Boat Cafe and ordered a sausage sandwich, a little bit of lemon, lemon drizzle cake and had a quite pleasant walk around the marina. If you ever down at Mercy Marina, it's well worth checking out. Well, thanks for watching. See you next week and have a great week. Bye.